Hello, my name is Micah Joseph. My name is William Whitehall. My name is Jenna Watts. climate change. Pesticides, no doubt, are one of the main threats to uh, pollinators. Some of the uh, pesticides registered for use uh, in our country uh, have been blamed in other countries. Like any other country in the world, uh, pollinators are very important uh, for agriculture. Uh, more than 80% uh, of our crops uh, require uh, pollination uh, for uh, uh, food production uh, and also uh, for nutrition. Beekeepers can definitely make a living from beekeeping in Barbados. So they can generate income through selling honey, selling beeswax. We have a pesticides legislation uh, that was passed in 1987. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the uh, legislation is quite uh, limited in its uh, provisions uh, to uh, uh, protect uh, pollinators. Uh, we see a real need uh, to update uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, legislation. Pollinators form part of the protection goals in Kenya, and PCPB has prioritized this by adopting a pollinator risk assessment process. Possible mitigation measures and restrictions are proposed based on the level of quantified risk. The mitigation measures are then applied on the label. Our higher tier studies, such as semi-field and field studies, need to be designed uh, for the Kenyan context. And when it comes to FAO guidelines on data requirements, there needs to be an update so that it can address the current data requirement for pollinator protection. There is currently no formal system of reporting the mortality incidences in Kenya. We recommend that farmers um, get in touch with PCPB so that the cause of mortality uh, can be investigated and uh, whether there is any link to pesticide use. My colleagues and I have definitely experienced the adverse effects of pesticides on bees, unfortunately. We did have someone from the Barbados Apiculture Association. This lady had her bees close to a cotton field and the bees feed on the cotton flowers. And what happened was that they sprayed the entire cotton field with the pesticides and the bees continued to forage and then they all died. She lost all of her hives. We definitely struggle in Barbados with the fogging for mosquitoes. Sadly, bees are lost due to fogging. Not only the bees, but so are other pollinators. Uh, our legislation should be uh, updated, uh, so uh, as to be able to uh, better protect uh, pollinators. Uh, at the same time, uh, education, uh, uh, it's very important, uh, very crucial uh, to uh, helping uh, with the protection of uh, pollinators and making people aware uh, as to the importance of pollinators. Uh, to reduce the impact of pesticides uh, on bees, PCPB encourages the adoption of uh, integrated pest management strategies, which incorporates uh, using products that uh, probably have low no risk to bees and also using uh, farm management practices uh, that reduce pest prevalence. Ideally, the best way to reduce the impact that pesticides have on bees is to stop using these harmful pesticides. Realistically, however, the best way to reduce the impact that these pesticides have on bees, I believe, is to actually have highly specialized pest retardants that are not harmful to bees and all other pollinators.
further at uh, promoting the use of uh, the message I would like to pass across the participants of the global seminar is to embrace monitoring of the status of pollinators, uh, whether it is at a country level or a regional level. More research needs to be conducted to bridge this data gap. So my message to the people of this global seminar is let us take action. Let us discover and utilize pest retardants that are not harmful to bees and other pollinators. Remember this, if we get rid of bees and other pollinators, lots of the foods that we consume will disappear entirely and we will suffer greatly.